Princess Gloria, thank you for joining us. I think you may have some inkling of why I have summoned you here. It concerns the future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom. And while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Muser's unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honorable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, wise words, Sir Sloan. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Yet I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. Tis she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon. Your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain? Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish His Majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, Your Highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures, the Four Crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to Sir Sloane, the Wind Crystal is safely in my possession already, but the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters, the crystal's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. I learned those lines as soon as I could talk, and if I understand them correctly, the troubled seas may be merely the first among many calamities to come. It is my duty, no, my destiny as Princess of Musa to do all that I can to prevent further misfortune befalling our world. And I shall fulfill it. Very well. I understand completely. Princess Gloria, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. Thank you, King Vernon. Your understanding in the matter is much appreciated.
It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but... This is something else. Oh, you should have seen the size of the waves. I smashed absolutely everything to pe- <gasps> A monster! Quickly! Get out of here! Okay, let's do this. Here I go. See you standing there. How many times have I told you? Look before you cast. You can't just jump in spells blazing. And how many times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's all right, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly frazzling people. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> But uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passers-by. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Oh, and I'm Elvis. Anyway, enough chit-chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll do my best. All right, then. What's next, I wonder? Away and fire your heat! 